channel I have part two of my fall haul which is going to include um, some things from Louis Vuitton, Ferragamo, um, Free People, Eileen Fisher, and Gucci. So if you're interested in what that is all about just keep watching. Okay guys I am gonna try to get through this quickly because I'm tired that last video was extremely long and I'm sorry but I like I said I've been collecting things for a long time and you guys know I have been MIA so I did want to show you some of the things there's probably going to be a part three, but I'm just not going to do it today because I'm tired. So what I'm going to do, though, is show you some of the luxury goods that I did pick up. And then we'll get to the part where I'm styling them um, as my schedule, you know, gets back together and everything. So let me show you what I did get. So the first thing I'm going to show you is um, Gucci. And I decided that I kind of wanted to switch my style up just ever so slightly. I kind of wanted to come out of the ballerina flats and some of the statement ballerina flat shoes and I wanted to wear something a little bit different. And I was in love with this um, Marmot, Gucci Marmot loafer. Even though I consider it to be an older person style because it does look, you know, very classic and older. I think that if you get it in like a fun print like this, and this is like a metallic silver um, with the two gold G's. It's gonna, my camera's gonna tear this up because I'm filming at night. Um, but this is what it looks like guys with a little kilt in the front. And this is a really popular shoe right now. And I plan to wear this just with my boyfriend jeans and white button ups or in all black. This will be my statement shoe. So it's some of the statement shoes that you saw that were ballerina flats last year. I'm gonna pop these in their place because um, I'm kind of going towards a different style. I'm kind of loving loafers right now. So I plan on doing a ton of loafers. So this is one pair that I picked up. And I'm trying to make sure that what I pick up I am going to get a ton of wear out of. Like it's gonna be something that I'm reaching for. So I haven't reached for those yet, but I don't plan on taking them back, so that's why I showed them to you guys, because I'm pretty sure that I can make those work. I've had problems with some other things that I've gotten from Gucci, because they were just kind of like really far out there, too crazy for me to make work in my wardrobe. But I'm pretty sure that I can make this work because I've mashed it up and put it with like several things that I think is really, nice it's just the weather has been really warm and so i haven't been wearing any of the fall pieces yet okay so the next thing is ferragamo again i'm not really wearing the ballerina flats i mean i still love them i just kind of wanted a different look and when i got the gucci loafers the suede loafers that i got um when i got the deville tote the blue pair i lived in them because i love the driving loafers so i went for a pair of ferragamo ones and although these are not the driving loafers, these are the black suede with the silver horse bit. They're extremely comfortable. I have been wearing them to death. I've been like pretty much wearing them every single day. Um, I just kind of get up and put them on because they're comfortable and they, they go with everything. I like the masculine look to them, but they're just kind of like quietly elegant even though they're masculine. And it's just a really chic little loafer. Um, I know loafers is not everyone's taste, but for me, it's something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear. So instead of me like putting my ballerina flat on, I'm gonna put this on. So I had to get a black pair. And they do come in leather. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I kind of just wanted a classic pair that I could just wear every single day. I mean, I plan on wearing the soles out of those babies right there. Okay, so that is two things. The next thing is I wanted a pair of like calf boots not ankle boots but calf so i'm going to show you what i got i got them from eileen fisher and let me show you what they look like they are suede and they have the inside little zip here at the bottom and they go up to like the calf you know so they're not going to go all the way up to the knee and they're not an ankle boot um and they give you they give me just enough height i think they're like three inches and they're comfortable and they're pointy toe and I thought it was chic and it wasn't like a pair of they're actually cheaper than Stuart Weitzman so um, the Stuart Weitzman boots I think I priced those at like 545 or 550 I think these were only um, 400 yeah I think these were 400 or like 348 or something like that so these came in cheaper and I I like them a lot and I think they look the exact same um, 
and they were comfortable and I thought it was chic and it was just it's cool I like I do buy pieces from Eileen Fisher so I really like these I like these with some of the bohemian dresses and even with some like um, like I said in the previous video with leggings and things like that and oversized sweaters I think these will be really really cool and I was impressed and again like I said we walk around a lot down here and this would be a shoe that I would be able to walk around in comfortably so I picked those up and I got one more pair Okay, the next pair I got from Free People, and I wanted an ankle black heel boot. I'm not sure how long the black heels are gonna be like the focus, so I didn't wanna invest in a super expensive pair. So I went ahead and I got a pair from Free People that are in that kind of like um, cognac color, and they're just a pair of distressed cognac color suede ones, and I think they are so cool because I love the distressed look of them. So they kind of look old but new. Um, and I was, they have the, the zipper on the back. And they look really similar, like I said, to the Stuart Weitzman. Although Stuart Weitzman does have that blue velvet pair. And I'm so crazy about those. But I miss them, so I'm on the wait list. <coughs> because I do want a pair of those. But other than that, I was fine with getting um, the cognac color like this. And again, I'm just going to wear it with dresses and skinny jeans and... You know, it's going to take the place of some of my um, moto boots that I wore last year or my smaller, like, um, Chelsea boots. I'm going to kind of replace them with these. Um, just to switch my style up. I want, because, I again, I tend to pick similar pieces of clothing. So I want it to try to make the outfits look a little bit different with, like, kind of switching the shoes up, okay? So I got these. So that is the last pair. Next thing is we went into... If you follow me on Instagram, you will know that we went into that I went into Louis Vuitton um, because it was my husband's birthday. So here is my um, proof of purchase, and I picked up a few things for him and for I and for me. And here's my receipt. Let me show you what we got. The first thing is that we wanted to try the fragrance. So the scent that we picked up is Matier. Nowhere. So that is what the box looks like. And we already are using it. Here is the jar that it comes in. It comes in the canister, I guess, to seal the light out so it doesn't harm the quality of the fragrance. Um, and then here is the fragrance bottle right here. And really sexy, warm set. So this is a scent that I think would work wonderful in the fall and winter months. Um, this scent has oud, like blackberry currant. You could smell um, patchouli in it. So it's kind of a smoky, mis mysterious kind of scent. Um, I think it's very sexy. It kind of reminds me just a little bit of like some of the Tom Ford fragrances, um, just the complexity of it. But I really like it. I like it a lot. My husband liked it too. And we, we like the unisex um, fragrances a lot. But again, I think it's something that would, would really smell nice on someone in the um, winter months. Like when it's cold outside. Because it's just it, it just reminds me of warmth. You know? And it's like I said, it's sexy. It's a very sexy scent. Okay. Next thing is I have a handbag. So I actually picked up the... Louis Vuitton twist um, in black in the GM size. I'm drawing a blank because I, I feel like I've been shooting videos all day long with the last video. But um, this is the Louis Vuitton twist GM in black. And of course it has the silver hardware. And I did the unboxing for this on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. Um, so I'm just going to briefly go over a little bit about the bag. I wanted to carry it for a little while before I showed it to you guys. And I'm starting to do that. Like, I even want to wear some of the clothing before I show you. I've wore um, the pair of Ferragamas. And, of course, I haven't worn the boots yet. But I'm going to get around to it. Um, because I want to, if I get my stamp of approval, I want, you know, it to be something that I've really used and not something that I just bought. So, so far, so good. Um, I will tell you that it's heavy. It's a heavy bag. So, it is probably as heavy as the Jumbo um of the chanel so if you if the jumbo is too heavy for you then this gm size and this is going to be too heavy for you too what i love about it is that it holds a lot i mean a whole bunch i've emptied it out so that i can show you the inside because i have been carrying it um of course it has that 
turn lock closure that is ever so cool. What I love about this bag is that although it is classic in shape and in size um, and in design, I think this little feature right here makes it modern. So it doesn't look old, you know what I mean? Like I love um, the boy bag, I love the jumbo bag, I love both of them, um, but I love the, the freshness of this bag right here. I thought it was um, kind of new looking. Like, Around where I live, in the demographics where I live, you see a lot of Chanel jumbos and you see a lot of boy bags. You don't really see this bag as much, so it was kind of refreshing to not see your bag on every single person. I mean, although it's eventually probably going to happen, but for right now, I'm enjoying not seeing it, you know, on it every third person that walks by me. And I, and I just love the uniqueness of it. Um, I Like again, I think it's a, just a really nice modern bag. What I also liked about it was that it did fit crossbody on me. I had tried on the boy bag, like I stated in previous videos, if you've been with me for a while, and it didn't fit crossbody over me. And that was a requirement for me to get like, you know, this flat bag was that I wanted it to fit crossbody. And it did do that. And it holds quite a bit. I also own the Louis Vuitton Capucins um, PM and I own the Chanel top handle and what I have done is switch from bag to bag to bag and everything that I carry in each of those bags that I've named fits comfortably in here without me having to move it around like a Rubik's Cube. I'm going to show you the inside of the bag. This is epi leather so it is very durable um, and that's another thing that made me just love it to death was that it was the epi leather that I didn't have to worry about you know, scuffing it really easy because I I want to use the bag. I don't want to baby the bag. It's a bag, so I want to be able to, you know, set it down, pick it up. If it falls, you know, while it's in my car, I don't want to, like, scream and holler and cry about it. I want to know that it's going to be okay. And this is what it looks like. What I like, too, is the reinforced stitching here on the bottom. And it has this kind of, like, wave ridge here. So when it rests, it just kind of rests on these ridges in this part doesn't really get you know touched on the bottom which is really cool also if you notice the design of this bag has kind of changed since it was first introduced in the beginning when I think it was first introduced the handles were positioned in a different location which I think caused some stress at the top of the bag and you'll notice like because I did a lot of research before I decided to get this bag um, a lot of the bags in the earlier times were caving up here because of the position of where the handles were and the handles are now in a different spot in order to be able to um, handle the weight of the bag so it's not like putting unnecessary pressure on it. This chain right here is kind of weighty, guys. Even though it looks little, it's a high polished silver. It's beautiful. The Here right here, the opening of the bag is that high polished silver, so it does stand out. It's not something that is gonna, you know, blend in. Um, I guess a person would have to know that this is LV to know that that's what it is, but it does get a lot of attention because everybody wants to know what is that. So let me open it and show you, but it does also come with this leather um, insert that is part of the strap so that lays comfortably on your shoulder to kind of help ease this chain from not digging into your shoulder. So let me open it and show you. It's lined in suede. And as you can see, in the previous bags, this part was exposed and you were able to see how the uh, straps were kind of attached to the top of the flap of the bag. And I think by them putting like reinforcements on there and then covering it, it kind of took some stress off of the back of the bag too so that you don't have um, that point where it's softening here like it did on some of the older ones, okay? And I've been carrying it maybe about two weeks now. Um, yeah, probably close to two weeks, and I've carried it every single day. I'm actually going to, tomorrow I think I'm going to put it away and switch it off to a different bag just so I can give it a rest because I do love it a lot. And this is my bag for like fall and winter. I don't think I'll be purchasing, well, I ain't going to say that. Let me shut the hell up. But I don't plan on purchasing anything else, you know, for a little while because I was this, this really satisfied me. Okay, so let me show you the inside. So on the inside of the bag, you have one big pocket right here. And then you have this little smaller pocket here. Let me see if I can get close. Where the mirror is located. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France, right? Okay, and I did want to show you guys the mirror. It does come with the mirror. Mine still has the plastic on it. And it says Louis Vuitton Paris. So it's metal on the back. And then it's the mirror in the front. And it has a little epi, um, like little leather tab that's made out of it. 
So that actually fits in the spot. This says Louis Vuitton Paris made in France right there. There. And then on the inside, you have this one big opening on the inside. And then you also have two slits like right here, two little pockets right here. That would fit like your cell phone or um, your keys or your card case or something like that. So there is a lot of room in here. And because of the way the, the bag is constructed with the ridges, um, you're able to fit things kind of like laying down in between it so it gives your bag a lot more room. I actually carry a full-size wallet, a card case, um, my phone, my keys, some makeup, a uh, coin case. Yeah, I carry quite a bit in here. Like I said, everything that I carry in my other bag, I pretty much fit into this bag. What I try not to do is like load it down though because it can, like I said, get heavy. I carry an, uh, a, my work bag is pretty heavy so I'm used to carrying like, you know, heavy things. So it doesn't bother me really bad, but it is heavy guys. So if you, you know, if you know you don't like carrying a heavy bag, this is not going to be the one for you. I know it comes in smaller sizes. It comes in mm, and it comes in pm size. So the pm size might be, you know, if you don't mind a smaller bag, might be a better weight for someone. Um, what else can I say about it? Um, this part doesn't really bother me opening it. It seems to do so pretty easily without me having to hold it or position it in any kind of way to get it open. Um, what else is there? I think that's it. Um, I posted a couple pictures on Instagram with me wearing it, so if you're interested in that, you can see that. I have some more outfits that are probably going to be coming with it. I haven't just been, like, dressing up lately. I've kind of been looking kind of bummy lately, so I haven't really, you know, did any outfits of the days or anything like that. I've done maybe one or two, but I'm going to do some more because as it, when it's so hot like this, I just, I don't feel like putting forth effort. Um, but as I get back to myself back together, because I've gained... What a bit of weight from, you know, partying and hanging with my husband for the last, um, what have I been back from my project for maybe three, four, three weeks now, three weeks, and I've been hanging out. So it's time for me to get my butt back into the gym and get my, my pretty back on so I can get myself together. But anyway, this bag right here, I really, really love it. I love the bag. Like I said, it is comparable to the size, I think, of the, what is it, the larger size boy bag that... Not the old medium, but the new medium, I think it is. I think it's comparable to that. Um, so, what else can I say about it? That's it. It doesn't scratch easily or anything like that. I think that the only drawback so far that I can say about it would be the weight of the bag. But, again, you guys are going to have to give me at least about another you know, month or two as I rotate it around um, just to see. Because it is going to be on heavy rotation for... Fall. I mean, I'm going to put it away for a couple days and then go right back to it. I just don't want to give it continuous wear because I kind of want to, you know, it to stay as fresh and beautiful as ever because I am so in love with this bag. And this is the first bag I've bought in a long time that as soon as I got the bag, because a lot of the other bags, and I love them all, when I got them, I still wanted another bag. And when I got this bag, I kind of stopped looking for other bags. I didn't look for anything else. I kind of was like, oh, I got the bag, you know. And I haven't been like... You know, my essay's texting me, like, she texted me today and she said, hey, um, the dollars at Neiman's are six to one. So for every one dollar that you spend, you get six points. And I was like, wow. And I really want to go in, but I don't know if I'm going to go in because I'm really satisfied with this. Like, I feel like I don't need anything else, but that is a really good deal. So I may peek my head in. But <laughs> back to this bag. This is a, a really great bag. I just think it's... It, to me, it adds a lot of usefulness to my outfits. I think because I am an older lady, I am going towards things that have just a little bit of trend to them, but that are still classic, you know? And I think the classic pieces that I'm buying, I'm buying them in fun patterns or fun colors just to make them appear to be a little bit more youthful so that they look fresher, you know? Um, although there's nothing wrong with the black jumbo or nothing wrong with the black boy bag, I just prefer this in the black. So I hope... That answers everyone's questions. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate everybody that is subscribed and that has been hanging with me. We've got to get some wardrobe building doing, done and some outfits of the days because I just hauled with you guys a bunch of damn clothes. So I'm going to get myself going on that. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll holla at y'all later. Peace. So I had to get a black pair. And they do come in leather. Um, they come in a bunch of different colors. Um, I kind of just wanted a classic pair that I could just wear every single day. I mean, I plan on wearing the soles out of those babies right there.
Okay, so that is two things. The next thing is I wanted a pair of like calf boots, not ankle boots, but calf. So I'm gonna show you what I got. I got them from Eileen Fisher. And let me show you what they look like. They are suede and they have the inside little zip here at the bottom and they go up to like the calf, you know, so they're not gonna go all the way up to the knee and they're not an ankle boot. Um, and they give you, they give me just enough height. I think they're like three inches and they're comfortable and they're pointy toe and I thought it was chic. And it wasn't like a pair of, they're actually cheaper than Stuart Weitzman. So um, the Stuart Weitzman boots, I think I priced those at like five, 45 or 550. I think these were only um, 400. Yeah, I think these were 400 or like 348 or something like that. So these came in cheaper and I, I like them a lot. And I think they look the exact same um, and they were comfortable and I thought it was chic and it was just, it's cool. I like, I do buy pieces from those work. I've had problems with some other things that I've gotten from Gucci because they were just kind of like really far out there, too crazy for me to make work in my wardrobe. But I'm pretty sure that I can make this work because I've mashed it up and put it with like several things that I think is really nice. It's just the weather has been really warm and so I haven't been wearing any of the fall pieces yet, okay? So the next thing is Ferragamo. Again, I'm not really wearing the ballerina flats. I mean, I still love them. I just kind of wanted a different look. And when I got the Gucci loafers, the suede loafers that I got, um, when I got the DeVille tote, the blue pair, I lived in them because I loved the driving loafers. So I went for a pair of Ferragamo ones. And although these are not the driving loafers, these are the black suede with the silver horse bit. They're extremely comfortable. I have been wearing them to death. I've been like pretty much wearing them every single day. Um, I just kind of get up and put them on because they're comfortable and they, they go with everything. I like the masculine look to them, but they're just kind of like quietly elegant even though they're masculine. And it's just a really chic little loafer. Um, I know loafers is not everyone's taste, but for me, it's something that I'm gonna, I'm gonna wear. So instead of me like putting my ballerina flat on, I'm gonna put this on. Decided that I kind of wanted to switch my style up just ever so slightly. I kind of wanted to come out of the ballerina flats and some of the statement ballerina flat shoes and I wanted to wear something a little bit different. And I was in love with this um, Marmot, Gucci Marmot loafer. Even though I consider it to be an older person style because it does look, you know, very classic and older. I think that if you get it in like a fun print like this, and this is like a metallic silver um, with the two gold G's. It's gonna, my camera's gonna tear this up because I'm filming at night. Um, but this is what it looks like guys with the little kilt in the front and this is a really popular shoe right now And I plan to wear this just with my boyfriend jeans and white button-ups Or in all black this will be my statement shoe So it's some of the statement shoes that you saw that were ballerina flats last year I'm gonna pop these in their place because um, I'm kind of going towards a different style. I'm kind of loving loafers right now so I plan on doing a ton of loafers, so this is one pair that I picked up. And I'm trying to make sure that what I pick up, I am going to get a ton of wear out of. Like, it's going to be something that I'm reaching for. So, I haven't reached for those yet, but I don't plan on taking them back, so that's why I showed them to you guys. Because I'm pretty sure that I can make the Eileen Fisher, so I really like these. I like these with some of the Bohemian dresses, and even with some, like um, like I said in the previous video, with leggings and things like that, and oversized sweaters, I think these will be really, really cool. And I was impressed. And again, like I said, we walk around a lot down here, and this would be a shoe that I would be able to walk around in comfortably. So I picked those up. And I got one more pair. Okay, the next pair I got from Free People. And I wanted an ankle block heel boot. I'm not sure how long the block heels are gonna be like the focus. So I didn't wanna invest in a super expensive pair. So I went ahead and I got a pair from Free People that are in that kind of like um, cognac color. And they're just a pair of Distress Cognac Color Suede ones. And I think they are so cool because I love the Distress look of them. So they kind of look old but new. Um, and I was, they have the, the zipper on the back. And they look really similar, like I said, to the Stuart Weitzman. Although Stuart Weitzman does have that blue velvet pair. And I'm so crazy about those. But I miss them, so I'm on the wait list. 
<coughs> because I do want a pair of those. But other than of my fall haul, which is going to include um, some things from Louis Vuitton, Ferragamo, um, Free People, Eileen Fisher, and Gucci. So if you're interested in what that is all about, just keep watching. Okay guys, I'm gonna try to get through this quickly because I'm tired. That last video was extremely long and I'm sorry, but I, like I said, I've been collecting things for a long time and you guys know I have been MIA. So I did wanna show you some of the things there's probably going to be a part three, but I'm just not going to do it today because I'm tired. So what I'm going to do, though, is show you some of the luxury goods that I did pick up. And then we'll get to the part where I'm styling them um, as my schedule, you know, gets back together and everything. So let me show you what I did get. So the first thing I'm going to show you is um, Gucci. And I 